Greetings, all Shard Vixen here. All right, I'm going to show you another really cool thing that I learned from Amy at Al John. This isn't, she does it also in another video. It's how to make journal pages um, or pieces for Inferma, inf inf whatever they call that. Um, cards, you know, like the little doodaddy stuff. So you buy yourself a book. I bought this one. It's a German um, artist, I'm thinking. But the history of maybe or something. I don't read German, so I don't know. But um, so this is what you do. I've already tore pieces out, so things is you paint on them. So these are some of the ones I've already made with intent, purpose, intent. So like this one is for the ocean. <coughs> this one is whirly swirlies. I like the color. But what's cool is in this book also has art pictures I can use as well. Famous. I think they're religious. Um, I like this one. It's got some texture stuff going on in it. Here's another water in themed one. Another wave. Remember I'm doing a wave journal. This is uh, my black and white gray style. I like those kind too. Um, <coughs> you make pockets and stuff with them. Here's another one. Now, what I'm using mostly, I've been starting to use other things, but these are sun catcher or kids' little acrylic paints. And that's what I'm using. They quick dry paint. So, um, I'm going to do two here. Um, these are with stencils that I did. This is one with um, kind of like masking. This is one of my own drawings. This one had another intent with a, a sun. Just more textural stuff. This has actual, you can feel it used with different stuff. You know, um, I try to do different color combinations for different things because I want to explore different ways of making stuff. I would probably, because this has a very chalky feel to it, I'd probably put a gloss on it afterwards maybe. I like this one. I just like the pink. It's one of my favorite colors of course. Um, there's a, I do the other side to you over here. You can't, you see it because I'm going to cut them out and make like pockets and stuff. This is a waterfall. Um, this is some other textural stuff. I was trying some stamps. See if I like them. Um, just, this is, I was trying different, some color things. This red turned out to be really bright red. And it was like, uh, I don't know if I like that or not. And here's just some more swirls. I like swirls. They're one of my favorite. If I could paint my room, I'd be done in swirls. Exactly this color. I'd do it exactly like that. I like that color. And here's just some lines. And then here's using the stamps to see how it would turn out if I wanted to use my stamps on it. Negative stamps at the moment. So we're going to start a new one right here. <coughs> Alright. So, first thing I do is I, do, I have done, made some guesses. Let's see what happens with this one. Okay, this has glitter in it. So that looks like it's sticking better. Um, yes, it's got more of a sticky t texture to it. So I could have, I wouldn't be using, it wouldn't be used as gesso. It would have to be used as a textural paint. Doesn't mean that's useless. Just that's what that means. So I can't use it as anything but texture. So we'll just leave that like that. So as texture paint, that works. I have no luck with texture paint, apparently. My thing is, is that how do... You... So this is always, to me, one of the problems with making, using homemade stuff, okay, is that it doesn't last like other stuff unless you're lucky. So I'm going to leave that as that. We're going to play around with it because nothing is a lost cause. And I'm going to do this. I don't 
where my roller is at the moment. So I'll use my roller. Oh, there it is. And then I'll lift it up. Now I've got another page with really cool stuff on it. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we rolled that down. So it should stick. Don't touch it. So this, as texture paint, works. I'm wondering now if I put that other stuff on it that was powder, literally. I don't think so, but we'll try it. If I put it on there as powder, would it work? Okay. Yes, okay, so if I put something on it and use it, it'll work as texture paint. Um, texture paste, not paint, paste. Um, but otherwise, that's kind of a fail. Alright, and then we have this stuff here, which is supposed to be my gesso. I'm fearful about putting my brush in there, though. Let's put this in here first. Okay, so this still is gesso. So we could put this down. This also was used with the um, this was used with the actual commercial gesso. I think a Mary Stewart gesso. I think it was actually used with that. And then I used the temp homemade tempura powder to give it this light pink color. So that's the thing about the homemade stuff, is that you're not going to get this bright, brilliant color as far as I can tell. I haven't been able to. So I like that texture there, so I'm going to keep using the knife. So I'm going to go across your thing there. Now, just to give, let you know in on a little secret, if anything can possibly go wrong in my life, and anything I do, it will. It is a guarantee. You should always expect that. So I just expect that things don't turn out exactly the way the other uh, until I practiced it and figured out what I've done wrong, why it looks different than theirs. I did make one that had glue in it too. I didn't turn out as well either. Alright, so there's that now. Um, I like that texture, so I'm not going to roll it. I'm just going to leave it that way, but I do want to add some color to it. So, let me rinse off my eye. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so, we're going to add some paint to it now. Even though that's still wet, I don't care. We're going to do red, I think. Let's do a red. I, I have a pink. We could do a pink. I don't know how much of this pink I have left. Of. Oh, I still have some. Okay, so... And however you want to texturize this, it's really up to you, I think. I'm just playing. I'll use everything I make, whether it's likable or not, I'll use it somewhere. It's kind of how I am, even in real life, real life stuff. And like I said, most of these pages here for me are just trying out stuff. to see how it comes out, like if I like it or not. I do a lot of textural stuff too. I like textural. I didn't make a video of me playing around with the different types of texture paste. I think though if I add water to that one, the, the yellow one, it'll become more textural. So we could try that. Which one is that? Is that this one? 
Yes. Okay, let's um, try that, see what happens. I gotta get a mixer though, something to mix it in. So I don't wanna mix it in that. Um, it'll be just a minute. I also have a mortar, I'm sure I could use the mortar too to. So if I do this. So, nope, that didn't work. All I got was, maybe if I put more in. Uh -huh. You're like, it's a lost cause, leave it alone. I never, never, never. Nothing's ever a lost cause. It doesn't smell very good though, I tell you. It has a fermented smell to it too. I've had paints do that. Mm, nope. It doesn't just, it doesn't mix up, so. It doesn't take the cornstarch way. I mean, I'm sure it'll leave behind a color, as it already has. See? Hmm. Okay, well. So much for experiment. So that didn't work. Alright, then we have to do this to pick up excess and that's what I do anyway. Because then I use this stuff too on this. But then I gotta go get my paper to make it so it doesn't stick. Yellow, 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 yellow. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You could draw pictures, I think, if you want it on your paper. Rather than, um, <clears throat> you could also do this. So, let's put that there. Take my brush out. Then that gives you more of a little texturized going on there. I mean, how you want to decorate things is totally up to you. I'm going to take this out again. Put that on there. Okay, now we're going to do another, one more. My battery holds up on my thing there. Okay, so take that up. See, now we've got all these weird colors on here. Nothing is wasted. I'm going to stick that there and we're going to flip it over. Now I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do it on this one. I'm going to do a dark color, I think. Now, Al John has done it in different ways, and like I said, there, I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way. Um, it's all what's pleasing to your eye. If this is pleasing to your eye, then do it this way. If you like to do it the other way, do it her way. If you found somebody else who does it a totally different way, do it their way. And some of those digital kits that people make. You know, they uh, take Photoshop pictures of old documents and then they put them into a Photoshop or a software of their choice and block them up and make them look really good into a picture format and then that's what you get. All right, so there's that. Um, let's see. Let's do a little lighter purple. Now, the reason I'm using these is because I'm trying to use them up. I got them in all kinds of different kits. But we never used, we used them for the kits and then we had all this extra stuff. So. And they blend really interesting. I found a thing on how to make your own sun catcher stuff. It's with glue. 
and I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it when you first start it because it seems to me it probably go bad <laughs> like my stuff does but you can actually buy some, this actual paint um, at stores like Walmart or stuff just by the paint alone sun catcher paint so if that's it quicks dries that's why people use it because it dries really quick see it's already dried nothing on my hands so that's why you use it for this kind of stuff because you can make quite a few of these and then it's all dry so now um, <clears throat> I gotta think about what I want to do with it do I want to add some more color yellow yellow would be good I'm in a yellow mood today yellow mood I'm in a yellow mood let's do this this is a messy event though if you're doing this because it doesn't always drop right then I have to decide do I want to just leave the blobs there which are fun too do I want to scrape it do I want to use another brush do I want to do a little bit of both leave some leave others kind of get the feel what do I want to do I feel 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 like I want to do something but I don't know what how about a gold a little bit of gold I've used sponges I've used other things too I don't know if I like the gold oh down here the gold's pretty maybe up on top we'll put it some on top too And then some of the paints, the colors are just so light that it's like, well, did I really want to do that? Like this. See, the gold is so light. Not really sure that it's a gold I want to do. Um, <clears throat> if you wanted to texturize it, the only one I have on right here is this. But you could do uh, something like maybe lines. Um, let's see if I, I have a white. I don't think I have any white left in this one. I probably have white. I have white other places, but I don't have any in this. Just a little bit of white. Okay. So we're going to take white. Maybe right here, because we've got a lot of stripe. Maybe you're a person that likes to have some purpose to your paintings or drawings or whatever, you can do that too. If you have a color combination thing going on in your journal, this is a good way to add color that will match to that. You want to put some bubbles maybe here in the corner like this. Maybe we could do that. Let's do that. We'll put it in the corner. That's kind of cool. Let's do it on this one up here too. Actually, we'll just flip it over. And then we have the different, the other side. And so that's it. But I just think this is a cool idea. I, you know, I don't know why I never thought of it because I do paint on the pictures. Sorry, I gotta get this paint off the. See, if you're using brushes with this paint, you want to clean it as soon as possible or you're not going to have brushes anymore. I don't know where my other brush went now. That's my little brush. I like that one. Got to clean this up, though. And then I'll just let it sit and dry. The, uh, the thicker it is, the longer it takes to dry, of course. So. Okay, and that's it for that. Uh, hope you enjoyed that like I said I will link Al John's video for it and you can go see how she did it and what she did with it because then she shows how she uses it I on the other hand I'm not sure how I'm going to use some of these I wait till I start making things and then I'll be like oh I need that color rainbows I gotta make some more rainbows pretty soon so we can put them into the other journal alright and that's it catch you all on the flip side keep on crafting dudes